Hey everybody, Adam here for True North Wilds with a very special unbox for this month. It's April, which means the RLM Elite is out. We've been able to pre-order this for a while now. I did a comparison video earlier uh, with an early version, but you can actually order them now, subscribe to either a pike box, a bass box, multi-species, walleye. Um, anybody that pre-ordered should be getting these now this month. It's officially out, it's officially launched. Likewise, the Mystery Tackle Box has put out an Elite Box not too long ago. I don't know exactly which month it started, but I got my first one now. I couldn't resist Elite versus Elite. They're both bass boxes. I chose bass for this, and bass was the only one available to me for this, being in Canada. Um, it's a little bit more limited, but bass versus bass, Elite versus Elite. Which one deserves that title? Which one's going to be the better bass box? Um, we'll find out when I open them up. A little bit of information about the boxes before we start. Mystery Tackle Box, mysterytacklebox.com. You can get your own, check out the subscriptions there. They have a regular version, a pro version, which I also do unboxings for. You can check it out on the channel, and the Elite. For the regular and the pro versions, you can choose a species. For the Elite, I was limited to the bass only. So this is a bass box. They don't tell you how many baits to expect in the box, but they give you an expected value. So I pay roughly, uh, $50 Canadian for the box and they promise a value of about $75 Canadian inside this box. RLM Elite from Simple Fishing, simplefishing.ca to check them out. Them being a Canadian company, I did have more variety of choice. So you can get a pike box, you can get multi-species, walleye, or the bass box. I got the bass box so I can compare bass to bass. Um, they don't give a value to expect, but they do tell you a rough count of uh, baits. So they promise about 10 baits in here. They tell you that, you know, they'll include some terminal tackle and stuff like that. Um, this box also cost me around $55 Canadian, uh, if, if memory serves. So roughly the same um, cost for me. One uh, promised value here of about 75 bucks. One uh, promised about 10 baits and other stuff included in here um, without a promised value. So should be a pretty good comparison. We'll see if this delivers on the value. We'll see how this holds up to the value of this one. Uh, you can tell just by looking at them, this is a bigger box. So I expect obviously there will be a few more things in here, um, but this is supposed to be elite, um, you know, high quality tournament quality stuff according to Mystery Tackle Box. So we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. And I'm gonna start with the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Bass Box. While I'm opening this up, you can, if you're not already, head over to facebook.com slash truenorthwilds, give us a like, give us a follow on Instagram, at truenorthwilds. Check out our website, truenorthwilds.ca, if you like to read. And, of course, hit that like and subscribe button down here right on the YouTube channel. Helps us out a lot. So, I see a lot of hard baits in here, which I like. So first up, we have a little bit of accessory stuff. Um, brush bands, brush guard splitters from Big O's. So just uh, little plastic circles that you can put on your jigs that have brush guards, um, just to split it up, uh, separate it, make uh, different patterns. Following that, we have Weston Hypo Tees ST. Weston is um, a brand that I don't get a lot of, but the stuff that I have got, I've really liked. So this is a really nice, good sized um, swim bait, nice plastic swim bait in a really nice white and silver minnow color. Treble hook on the bottom, hook on the top. Nice big paddle tail, solid bait. I like that. That'll be a good bass bait. That'll be a good uh, pike bait. I mean, really, pike will go after that. Walleye will probably go after that too. So just a good all-around swim bait. Good size. Big lures for big fish. Next up, um, jerk bait suspending Duo International. So it's a suspending jerk bait. Doesn't have a dive depth on there. Doesn't have a lot of information on the package but it's got a little bit of a bill there. Fairly uh, shallow looking, probably does not dive too deep, but it'll dive to some depth. It's got a nice, uh, nice pattern in it. It's got a nice holographic foil in there. The color is really nice, blue, silver, brown on top. 
you can probably hear it. It's got a really solid rattle. Um, just a nice, nice lure all around. And then that suspending is always nice. So good bass lure there, nothing wrong with that. It looks like a really nice quality lure. I really, really actually like the foil in there. The foil makes a really nice pattern. The Runt from Catchco. Catchco makes some nice stuff. They make some nice packaging too. I really like their packaging of all things. So this is the Catchco Runt Ghost Gill. And again, you can see that it's got that shallow sort of bill. So it'll dive to some depth. It doesn't really say what it dives down to. It's got that nice feathery tail, the streamers there. Um, it's a really interesting shape. It's sort of a bug shape. It's not really, a, it doesn't really look like a bait fish. It looks more like um, some sort of a bug. The colors on it are nice. Just all around uh, good paint job. A little bit of foil in there for some flash and no rattle, but uh, I don't suspect that we'll need one with all the color in there. Bright blue, got purple stripes, fish around here. Love that purple color. And then the streamers on here. So bass will go after that. Pike will go after that um, for sure. It uh, looks like a really nice, interesting lure. I love the shape on this thing. It's got that nice curved shape and just a fat profile. And the fat uh, reminds me of like a surface plug where it's just that torpedo sort of shape, except it's got this nice curve to it. So nice lure. And up next, we have the Pompadour Junior Topwater Noisy Bait. The Topwater Noisy Bait. And it... Uh, says that here a number of times, noisy bait. So I imagine it makes a lot of noise on the surface of the water. Let's see if I can get in here. So this is a really interesting lure. This is from Jackal Lures, the Pompadour Junior Yellow Frog Ultra Noisy Top Bait. I can see why they are claiming the ultra noisy. They've got these wings here, which move in and out. So in the water, that's gonna create a lot of resistance this being on the surface, that'll create a lot of ripples and splashes in the water. So that's going to attract all kinds of fish. And then on top of that, you have this propeller on the back end. That's going to create all kinds of noise on more ripples in the water. And then on top of all that, you got this really loud, high pitched rattle in there. That's going to draw all kinds of fish in. So just everything about this lure is made for making noise. And I can see that by looking at it, it is going to be a noisy lure. The color on it is fantastic. For a surface bait, um, the important part of a surface bait obviously is the belly. The belly is that nice bright white, but it's got the chartreuse color that comes down around and it's got the spots on the side. So just beautiful lure. I've never used anything with wings like this. I'm looking forward to trying that out. They say it's ultra noisy. I can absolutely see this being ultra noisy and I can absolutely see this drawing in fish from all over the place because of that noise. So super excited to try that out. Last but not least, we have the saw craw. Some, so we got some plastics here. The saw craw max action claw design juiced with stank. Not sure if I dare, but oh, that stinks. That really stinks. So this is also from Catchco. So again, they have some nice stuff, Catchco. Uh, I've gotten a few things from them. The packaging is always awesome. Juice with stank. I mean, you know, they're they're funny labels and packages and everything. Beautiful soft plastic. Oh, this this does stink. There's definitely some scent in there, and I don't want to handle this for too long because it does stink. But they got these big claws on them, thick claws. The color is really fantastic. It's sort of a dual tone. You got the light brown on the bottom, olive green on the top, and all sorts of sparkle in there. Black and red sparkles, um, huge claws, nice thick plastic, solid rubber. Um, just going to be a solid, solid lure there, throwing out, that out for bass. Anything that goes after that sort of bug, that sort of topwater bait, or the diving bugs, beetles, or crawfish with the claws, I mean, this will mimic anything like that. It'll mimic a lot of those beetles with the swim, big swimming legs on them. It'll mimic that crawfish really good. And that scent, which is terrible for me, I imagine is going to draw in a lot of fish as well and make them hold on. So, And then, of course, in the box, you get some stickers, um, some cartoony sort of stickers. And you get your Dibble Digest. has some articles, tips, things like that. And of course, your what's in the box and it tells you the retail value of everything that you got so you can judge for yourself if it's 
you know, meeting the, the value of uh, what you're expecting. Um, quick math here, as I look at it, it says I got a pretty good value in this box. Um, yeah, that's it for that box. Moving on over to the Simple Fishing RLM Elite box. Obviously, this box is a lot bigger than the Mystery Tackle box one. So we'll see what kind of value I get out of here, if it's going to be similar in value. Um, I'm obviously going to get more lures, so we'll see what kind of quality the lures are, what kind of variety the lures are, and how good they will catch me some bass. All right, this thing is loaded. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in here, so let's get to it. First up, Norman Lures uh, GC Gel Coat Power Perch. This is a deep diving lure, as you can see by the big bill on it. So that 11 to 17 foot dive depth dive depth 17 feet that's a deep diving lure so this is a nice big lure to get down deep like that it's a nice profile it's a good bass profile uh, it's got sort of that fat front and the skinny tail really a uh, nice color on it sort of a goofy painting it's got the goofy eyes um, some blue stripes on the side which is interesting and then it might not show up very well on the camera but it's got this hex sort of pattern painted all underneath the colors on the side and I don't know if it'll show or not, um, but it's a really interesting sort of a pattern underneath the pattern. Got a big thumping rattle in there. Some big ball bearings, that'll make a lot of noise. And it's got this gel coat, um, they call it gel coating on the package. And it's supposed to be a chip resistant sort of coating for the paint. And it feels, just I'm just feeling it, trying to get a sense of this gel coating. I've never seen it before. Um, but it feels pretty durable, it feels pretty solid, and it looks fantastic. So, nice lure there. Up next, we have a Rapala Surface Popper, the Rapala Skitter Pop. Rapala Skitter Pop, I am somewhat familiar with. The Skitter Pops are a really good line of poppers. And of course, being Rapala, you know it's a good quality. So, it's your typical popper profile. So this is meant to splash along the surface, make a lot of noise as the water goes into that sort of uh, open uh, front there. It's got a nice pattern on it. It's a good size. It's a good size for the bass around here in particular. And it's got this red streamer on the back hook. So the fish, I always find red is a good color to use. So pike, um, if, if I'm topwater fishing for pike, this will be a good one to throw. They love that red color. And then the smallmouth bass around here uh, as well. They really like that red color. That'll be a good one to throw. You can't go wrong with a Rapala Skitter Pop. Absolutely. The Liquid Mayhem Bass Attractant. So it's another tube of bass attractant. I've gotten this before in various boxes. I've used it. Um, I've used the walleye one and I actually reviewed it. You can go check out that video. Um, <clears throat> it's good stuff. The walleye one smells very much like garlic. This one, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but it's not garlic, uh, but it's a very strong scent. So. Nothing wrong with that. I've used it before. I did a review on it. I was happy with it. So I'm happy to get more of it. The next package we're going to look at is a Bagley, the original Bagley. Uh, zero to 16 feet dive depth. The Diving B3, the Diving B3 from Bagley. Bagley is another one of those brands that is good, reliable, it's well established. You know what you're going to get with it. It's like the Rapala. When you open up a package, you're opening up a Rapala package, you know it's going to be quality before you open it up. Bagley is very similar. Um, this is a really nice one as well. It's still got that nice chunky profile with the skinny tail. Nice bass profile. It's got that deep diving lure. It's very similar to the uh, gel coated one that I just opened previously. Uh, just a different color. It's got that same goofy eyes there which I like. The gills, um, you know, nice paint job, everything. So very similar to the Norman lures that I just opened up. Just a slightly different size, slightly different bill size on it, and uh, different colors, of course. But quality lure other than that. Picking up a bag here that contains a Combat Jigs Custom Baits um, jig head. So this is a jig head with a bunch of streamers on it, uh, which is kind of cool. It's got a nice color. The streamers, uh, that green and black speckled. It's got a nice hook on here, nice shaped hook. It's sharp and sort of a smallish 
size jig head, but good weight to it. So nothing wrong with that. Moving on, we have some plastics. I like getting plastics. We have Angler's Choice, the Angler's Choice in quality soft plastics. Uh, the signature color of the Lady Bass. Lady Bass, who you can follow on Instagram as well. So these are a nice profile. <laughs> they look like leeches um, with that sort of flattened tail. They got the sort of serrated body. And then something that took me completely by surprise, they have this orange color with sort of the sparkles in there, the red and gold sparkles. And then the bottom is blue, which I was not expecting when I took it out of the package. But it's got a blue color on the bottom, so that's kind of neat. It's kind of just a neat kind of color combination, something I haven't really seen before. Um, nothing wrong with that. Smallmouth bass around here will go nuts over this shape and this color, the green color anyway. I'm not sure about the blue because I don't have anything that color. But uh, they love this green color with the sparkles in it, so that'll be a good smallmouth bass type of plastic. Some more plastics, we have the Yum Vibra King tubes. So these are some tubes which I don't get a lot of for some reason, and I always like when I do get them. Let's see if I can get into the package. So I got into the package. So these are a scented, they got that yum distinctive scent, um, tube plastic. I've gotten similar to this in previous um, one of my boxes. It's that gold greeny sort of color, lots of sparkle in there, lots of light being thrown around, and then the tube part goes up to about there. So you'd throw in your jig, and you can jig this vertically, you can cast it, retrieve it. These uh, tube jigs like this are good for uh, going down deep. This will be good for walleye, pike, bass, and uh, lake trout really like this type of shape as well. So this is kind of a good multi-species plastic. Another bag of plastics, we have V&M, the ultimate bass and bait. V&M Thunder Shad in gray ghost color. Open this up. Ooh, I really like this color. I can see why they call it Gray Ghost. Uh, it's got this really light, almost see-through color, but not quite. It's sort of a smoky gray, and it's got a ton of sparkle in silver, red sparkles a little bit in there, and then the black spots in there as well. It's a nice profile. It's chunky in the middle, in the body part, it's nice and chunky. And it's got this really nice angled paddle tail, which I really like. So lots of action on that. Good, firm plastic, really nice profile, like I said, nice chunky profile. And I just absolutely love the color on this. The, the combination of the smoky gray with the white sparkles and just that little hint of red sparkles in there makes this just fantastic. I'm a big fan of that. Last but not least for this box, we have the Lunker Hunt Sushi 110. Sushi, appropriate name. So Lunker Hunt is a brand that I'm very familiar with. I get a lot of different products from them throughout my various boxes. They are a very quality brand. Everything I get from them always works really well. I'm always impressed. This is a shallow diving one. <clears throat> Got that shallow sort of bill. And it's got this splash of blue on the head, which I really like. And the rest of it's more of a standard gold with black stripes. Um, sort of a normal color to get for a, a jerk bait. It's got a lot of rattle in it. You can hear that, I'm sure. A lot of rattle. Sharp hooks, which are catching on me right now. Um, yeah, just a, that's a nice... Let's see if it says what it does to you. Six foot depth. So a six foot dive depth. Nice uh, medium sort of dive depth. Really nice lure, really, really nice rattle in this thing. And of course, I mean, you can't go wrong with Lunker, Lunker Hunt. So that'll be a good quality smallmouth bass lure around here. This will be a good quality walleye lure. And of course, pike will always go after. A pike will go after an old shoe if you throw it in. Um, but as far as walleye and smallmouth bass in particular, that is a, a nice lure. So of course, at the end of the box, you get your stickers. You get some, you know, cool little stickers. Advertisement for one of their uh, contests, some information there on entering um, the slam card. So if you plan on doing a slam with this box, they have a, and I really like this idea actually, they have the species listed here for fish and then boxes and you can check off as you go, as you catch your uh, fish on the different lures, you can keep track of it. It's, it's all uh, like plasticky, like waterproof. So, you know, just take a Sharpie marker or whatever with you. Um, and you can keep track of your slam. And then of course the what's in the box card. 
lists everything that's in the box and the retail value of it all, um, which I'm not going to add all up right now, but a quick glance tells me it's a pretty good value as usual. That's it for this box. So that's it for both boxes. That was a lot of lures to go through. Um, not that I'm complaining. I gotta say, I like both boxes. My final thoughts for the Mystery Tackle Box Elite Bass Box. Lots of good lures in here. Um, their quality, there was a good hard baits in it. There was some nice plastic, uh, sort of a mix, um, but there wasn't a lot of difference between this and the Pro Box, I felt. I'm not entirely positive that there's a huge difference in quality between these lures and what I would normally get considering that it's a lot of the same brands and I don't know that the same brand is going to put out different qualities of lures. I don't know for sure. I kind of feel like maybe they're more expensive lures from the brands but the brands that I normally get that I also got here are typically always good quality brands so I'm not disappointed with anything I got but I'm not sure I see a huge difference between this box and the Pro Box. There certainly wasn't any more lures. There certainly wasn't any more bonus things. There wasn't, a, you know, there wasn't any bunch of extra terminal tackle or accessories. There was the one package of circles there. It'd be different, I think, um, if you're watching Mystery Tackle Box, I would recommend maybe throw in some packages of hooks or some more cheap stuff that uh, can fill up the box a little bit better because I don't feel there was a big distinction between this and my Pro Box. That being said, the lures that I did get, again, I enjoy the lures that I did get. I'm looking forward to using them. There was nothing wrong with them. I'm just not really seeing the huge distinction between the two boxes just yet. Moving on to the RLM Elite. I really like the lures that I got in here. The RLM Elite has a good variety. Obviously it has more lures, so I think I actually got a better value out of this considering that they're roughly the same price. You know, there's a difference of, I think, $5 between these two boxes. Um, my value is better. If I'm going to spend $55 between one of these, I'm probably going to pick the RLM Elite for the simple fact that I get more. I get more hard baits and they seem to be great quality. They're from good brands. You know, you can't go wrong with Bagley. You can't go wrong with Rapala. The other brands that are in here, the Norman Lures. I mean, <clears throat> this gel coating, even though I'm not familiar with it, it's something new for me, It's uh, which I like having new stuff. And it looks like a really quality paint job. It looks like a really quality coating on it. I'm sure it'll work just fine. Um, Combat Jigs, you know, it's not a huge name brand, as far as I'm aware anyway, but I've gotten them before and it's a good product. So. The Lunker Hunt, you know, Lunker Hunt is a well-established brand. Um, so I think the better value is still with the RLM Elite. It's an extra $5 and it only ships every two months, which is something to consider if you're looking to get a subscription box every month. This is not going to be the one for you that's every two months. However, if you want the best value um, and you don't want to spend $50 every month, then RLM Elite is going to be a good option. If you want to get a box every month, I would actually recommend the Mystery Tackle Box Pro version over the Elite version. I get the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Walleye version and I'm pretty happy with it every month. It's uh, less money than this. I forget exactly how much it is. It works out to be $10 or $15 cheaper. You get it every month and from what I'm seeing, you kind of get a lot of the same stuff as you would get in the Elite Box. However, if you're happy getting a subscription every two months, um, because let's face it, this is a lot of tackle to get. <laughs> uh, the RLM Elite is a good option. <clears throat> you get a ton of stuff. You get a variety of stuff, variety of plastics, and a variety of plastic types too. It's not just, you know, worms. It's not just the shad shapes. I get the tube jigs, um, plastics. I get the, uh, the shad shapes. Um, you know, you get a little bit of everything. The one thing that the uh, RLM Elite box is missing um, for this the first month of its shipping is some terminal tackle. I would have liked to see maybe again uh, some packages of hooks or uh, or some floaters or you know just something cheap like that just to kind of all those little odds and ends that you kind of like to get and that you lose a lot of swivel snap or snap swivels or you know things like that I would uh, if I was looking to make an improvement would recommend for that. The hard baits are fantastic. I'm looking forward to using everything that I got here from both boxes. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, if it was informative to you at all, 
please consider hitting those buttons down there. Like, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, facebook.com slash True North Wilds. Follow us on Instagram at True North Wilds, of course. And if you like to read, I like to write about my outdoor adventures. I like to do uh, reviews of gear, um, more long form reviews. I like to do recipes for wild meat and fish. Um, I record my outdoor adventures and I'll, I'll write about those and I'll write about upcoming trips that I have planned, all that sort of stuff. Anything to do with the outdoors, I like to write about it. So check that out at truenorthwilds.com. Thanks for watching again and until next time, I will see you outside.